How to eliminate blurriness in Wuthering Wave In this video, I will demonstrate how you can fix blurriness in your game and improve the texture quality and give more color to your game. Enough chit chat, let's get started. First, open your NVIDIA control panel. Head to the Manage 3D settings. Find an isotropic filtering and set it to 8x or 16x. Remember, higher the setting here will massively increase your GPU usage. And this setting is globally applied to all of your games. If you don't want that all of your game use the same setting, then go to the program settings. Click add, find wuthering waves, then add selected program and apply the settings, which will make only wuthering wave to use this custom setting. Well, an isotropic filtering actually improves the details on stationary and distant assets. Now scroll down to the bottom and set texture filtering negative LOD bias to allow. It will make the far objects look more detailed and clear. Now close the control panel and open NVIDIA app or GeForce Experience. If you don't have this app then download it from the official site. I put the link in the description so that you don't have to search for it. In the app, go to the settings, turn on NVIDIA overlay. Also remember what is the hotkey on it. Obviously my one is different than yours. Then turn on game filters and photo mode. Finally make sure your graphics driver is up to date. Nice, we good to go. And close the app. Now launch your Wuthering Waves, go to the settings, set the screen mode full screen, turn on VSync, LOD bias to low, motion blur turn it off, anti-aliasing turn it on, and then NVIDIA DLSS on. Super resolution ultimate quality, sharpening around minus 0.35 or minus 0.4. Now use the hotkey to open NVIDIA overlay and click on the game filter. Hmm, if the game filter shows blank then restart your game and open it again. Now select any of this 1, 2, 3 setting and then scroll down, add sharpen plus, set the intensity to 20, texture detail to 30. Now add sharpen, set the intensity to 50 and this one to 5. Now add brightness or contrast, exposure minus 4, contrast 20, highlight 10, shadow 10, gamma 0. Now add color, tint color 0, tint intensity 0, temperature 0, vibrance 80. Finally add detail, sharpen 20, clarity 100, HD toning minus 60 and bloom to 20. Well these are my personal preference, therefore you're completely free to play around with the added filters to customize as you like. So here we finish with all the filters. Now see the difference. Hopefully all the blurriness are highly reduced and the texture and color are way different than before. Well I'm running my game on ray tracing even though I'm using a 30 series GPU. And if you want to try ray tracing then subscribe with all notification because in my next video I will show you how you can get ray tracing without 40 series graphics card. So keep eyes on my channel. Well then this is it for today's video if you think this video was helpful then make sure to drop a like and share this video to your friends and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel i love you all and hopefully see you guys in my next video goodbye